The new release of Twinmotion is not just an update, it's a huge step forward. In this video, we'll dive into the most important new features and see how they can help you bring your project to the next level. So, let's dive in! New Material Interface Long criticized for its lack of intuitiveness, the material properties have now been redesigned to speed up parameter editing. In the main category, you'll find all the texture-based features, such as color, roughness and normal. The two sections dedicated to UVs and miscellaneous have been separated and grouped independently, giving you greater freedom of control. On top of that, a brand new assignment section has been added. This is very handy because it immediately shows you which surfaces a material is applied to. By clicking on one of the items in the list, the corresponding surface will be highlighted in the interface. Another big improvement is the main materials menu. You can now finally organize your materials into folders, or sort them alphabetically. 3D Grass Material Update First introduced in the previous version, the 3D Grass Material has received a major update with 10 new grass types to choose from, for a total of 15 different presets. In addition, the brand new Accent Mesh section has been added. These are vegetal elements designed to break up the uniformity of the grass and give your terrain a wilder, more natural look. The combination of these two categories creates a powerful new material with endless possibilities, all of which can be saved as presets and activated at any time. To emotionally install the size reduction and on-demand content. To reduce the weight of the Twinmotion installer, all of the Twinmotion's native library content has now been immigrated to cloud storage. To use materials and 3D models, you'll need to download them individually or in groups. Once downloaded, all assets will remain available in your current and future Twinmotion versions, without the need to re-download them again. If you prefer downloading multiple objects and materials at once, you now have two different options. The first one is the starter pack, with about 500 assets for 15GB, and the second one is the standard pack, with more than 2000 assets for 80GB. Configurations update My beloved configurations have also been improved with some small but meaningful changes. Now all the 2D trigger settings can be managed from a single global menu, while still allowing you to unlink specific triggers and customize them individually. From now on, the 3D triggers are always listed in the scene menu, even when the configurator mode is inactive. A big win in terms of organization. Camera configurator is the most exciting new addition, allowing you to save different views and activate them with a single click. And finally, during export, you can now enable batch export to render all configurations at once. Advanced post-process effects. The entire filter system in the FX tab of the Ambience panel has been redesigned to provide greater flexibility and improve the visual quality. Filters are now grouped under a dedicated category called FX, offering a wide range of parameters. This update focuses heavily on artistic styles, with the new settings such as hatching, Kuwara filtering and paint style outlines. Since all parameters are fully exposed, you can fine-tune them however you like and save your own preset. Animators update The two commands Translator and Rotator have been fully redesigned to support advanced functionality. Animators can now be controlled directly from the timeline, allowing you to create sophisticated video sequences with precise control and timing. The parameter management menu has been completely restructured with new sections, offering greater control during animation. A very useful addition is the Stagger Offset, which lets you add a time delay to the shielder of animators, to create a fuzzing effect. Exploder Animator Staying on the animation theme, the new Exploder animation has been introduced. As the name suggests, it is designed to create exploded views of objects for technical presentations and architectural animations. Its functionality is very similar to the other animators, but it comes with a wide range of ready-to-use presets to instantly animate any 3D model or architectural project. In my opinion, this is a fantastic addition that brings presentations to a whole new level. Nanite The Exploder was just the appetizer, the main curse is Nanite. Unreal Engine 5's virtualized geometry system. 
Nanite uses a brand new mesh format and rendering technology to render pixel scale detail and handle massive object counts. With Nanite into motion, you can now use huge amount of extremely complex geometry within the same scene without having to optimize them. Just think about it. What you're seeing here is made of thousands upon thousands of 3D models, each with hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of triangles, all placed in the same project. This is only possible thanks to Nanite. Without it, it would have been unthinkable to even work with half this amount of detail. Nanite completely changes the game in real-time rendering, giving artists the freedom to create unlimited worlds with the simplicity of Twin Motion. Parallax Windows If Nanite is the main dish, then Parallax Windows are the first of many rich side curves on the Twinmotion 2025.2 menu. Parallax Windows are a fantastic way to quickly populate interior spaces visible through windows in your architectural scenes. Instead of modeling each interior, adding lights and assets one by one, you can simply drag the ready-made Parallax Windows directly from the Twinmotion library. You can customize several aspects of these windows and even enable a nightlife simulation mode where lights randomly turn on and off, with randomized color temperature and exposure. The Twinmotion library already includes 32 assets divided into different environments, but you can also add more anytime by downloading new ones from websites like WParallax. Fog Cards while the particle effects introduced in the last version weren't very popular, this time the fog cards are here to impress. They add depth and motion to natural environments in your scenes. You can place fog cards exactly where you want them. They come in various shapes and sizes, can be scaled, customized and even linked to the global wind in your scene, or controlled independently. Static Motion Blur at last, Twinmotion can now simulate the motion trails of moving objects. Two new commands, Linear Blur and Circular Blur, have been added to the library. They are extremely simple to use. Just place them in your scene, pick a direction and apply them to the desired object. Say goodbye to post-production in Photoshop. Camera Sync You can now synchronize all your saved views from your 3D modeling software directly into Twinmotion, with just a few clicks. This works both through direct link and data smithing import, making it quick and easy to reuse your saved views for creating images and video inside Twinmotion. Viewport mods. Finally, a notable addition, the ability to switch between different technical viewport mods. Unlit displays only the base color, with lining and shading disabled. Wireframe shows all polygon edges to inspect mesh topology. Lumen Surface displays a Lumen Surface Cache to show how indirect light is calculated, and Nanite Triangles displays the triangles of meshes processed by Nanite. Of course, for all these new features, and even the ones I didn't mention today, I'll be making dedicated videos to explore every technical detail. Also, keep in mind that my masterclass will include brand new lessons, where I cover the correct workflow for all these new tools. If you're interested in taking your Twinmotion renders to the next level, you find the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video until the very end and for being part of my community. I'd love for you to leave a comment with the topics you would like me to cover in the next video, because your feedback has always been my greatest source of inspiration. That said, I wish you a good day or evening and see you very very soon. Ciao!